Cap Selection, what's going on? Your boy Robert Bruce. Actually having this conversation live and direct from my bedroom. And on the line right now, I've got someone you can say is a pioneer, innovator, trendsetter, hit maker. Hits, he makes it look easy, he said. Sneakbo's on the line. What's going on, Sneakbo? Come on, yo, you're done, no. Sneak to the bow, big up, bro. What are you saying, man? How you doing? How you doing with the lockdown? No, I'm good, man. I've just been chilling, man. Promoting my album, chilling with my son. Yeah, man. Has your routine sort of been interfered with a lot? Like, what was the plans for this time? Yeah, because basically, I was going to do a launch party and hopefully have a tour, like, a couple weeks after my um, album. But, yeah, it's, it's got to change your plans and just got to promote from home, basically. Is there anything from the lockdown that you've liked, though? Um, like the fact you could be at home with the family? Yeah, being at home more with the family, cooking more myself. Cooking? Now, what are you yeah. cooking? <laughs> different things. I've cooked everything now, man. <laughs> I've cooked everything. I've tried everything every day, man. Different things. No, but what's I, the never, I never used though? to do that before. Huh? What's the speciality, though? I think, like, stew chicken. Stew chicken, that's all you? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, <laughs> obviously, that's normal to people. But before, I, I, yeah. I, I never ever used to do that. So I didn't used to cook like at home. Okay, okay. Yeah, you see, lockdown's making us learn new skills and that, man. No, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> but what we saying, the album is out now. Look, we're going to have to do a proper convo where you come in, we chat about the whole career. Because even from where I first started listening to you, I was even still at school them times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got longevity over the whole career. But the last album, Brixton, 2017 to now, Nine Lives. What yeah. have you been doing in the past, like, three years? Uh, I've just been... I've just been still working, like, going to studio. Obviously, I had a, a son. So I've been doing up fatherhood. And, yeah, just, <laughs> just growing, just travelling getting to obviously I know myself but knowing myself more and yeah just about man yeah especially in a new space man I can imagine having a son's been a big impact on your life and career well, I want to talk about that when we talk about the album as well yeah, but yeah. even looking towards the early styles of the career I saw you tweet recently about how artists should always build their old channel yeah. and I just remember the jet ski channel man the freestyles the yeah, Sasha yeah, Barton, yeah. all of that. Mm -hmm. What was the music like for you at that time? What was the scene like? What was your career like? What was it saying? I, I can't re really remember if Grand Daily and like Link Up were popping like that back in the days, but yeah, there weren't really platforms artists can jump on or platforms that wrote. God, how can I put it? Not road rap, but road rap weren't really how how is commercial now? It weren't commercial yeah. back then. So yeah, you, we just I I just learned to just you I was not that I learned I was I just, I had no choice than to build my own platform and just start from there and I didn't think I'm gonna be famous one day I just wanted my music up somewhere on YouTube where like my friends in the ends can watch it and my school friends mm. and that can watch it and boom and yeah it just it just took off from there and now like now like I feel like when I when I drop videos now. Obviously, if I just had my videos on Grand Baby or other different channels, now that it's been like 10 years in my career, when I drop a new video now, the fans, certain new fans that's only known me this year, because it's still on that same channel, they could go back and look at all the things. I've... Everything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool, man. You mentioned 10 years. It's a long time. And the thing is, you've been consistent throughout it all. How have you managed to keep that longevity, man? Uh, so I'm saying there was no plan. I've just I just love music. So I'm, so I'm always in the studio. I'm always writing music. I'm always working, and that's it's, I've just kept working. That's just yeah. That's just what it is. I just kept working. I didn't stop. Yeah, there's been a lot of men that I've seen stop. They might take two years off. I've never ever took. I don't even think I've took six months off ever for, in the last ten years. Like for real. Like, I don't think I ain't dropped. Even though the track. Like you might have not heard it or it might have not got big, but I've always dropped a track like every six months or every five months or something. Yeah. Always on your toes. Stay recording, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> when did you first start doing shows? 
in the UK and then when did you first start traveling the world? I started doing shows, I think it was either 2011 or 12. Yeah, is that after the Ill Blue remix to Touch a Button or off of Touch a Button? Off of Touch a Button. Basically, yeah. my first show was like just some small show, but it was packed and and it was like, um, that was just off of Touch a Button, but that was my first show and I didn't ever leave like South London really before that so so i was kind of like um paranoid doing that show anyway them days i was just paranoid thinking yeah i'm yeah. just going to the next ends going in the party and that boom 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 but yeah it was a good night but then when i linked up with vashi changed touch a button into the wave and yeah that's what started making me do proper shows like commercial i'm not commercial shows, but in like what's these clubs called Prison, Oceana. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. And that's, that's how it switched over there. Yeah, that was probably like old twelve, old eleven ish. It was literally go time from the jump, man. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And then even old twelve, I went Napa. So straight away, I was flying out to do shows from like my Where first is... couple of songs. How long ago was that video of all of you guys freestyling on the beach? Because I remember that being a big moment as well. I think Art Ads was there. Do you remember that one? Where was yeah. that and when was that? That was in Ibiza. I can't, what year was that? I can't really remember. That's more recent though, isn't it? Yeah, it might have been like five years ago, four yeah, years ago. Yeah, like 2015, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that there had, that's when I met um, Depsman. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that freestyle, we was on the beach. That was with SBTV. I think Jamal filmed it. I remember that, man. I remember even just being a fan of the music, I'm thinking, rah, these men are going places, but they're yeah, so yeah, good to yeah. see, especially from where you come from as well. No, trust me, trust me, trust me. Let's talk about the album, though. Nine Lives out now. The reaction's been so sick. I was telling you before, I stayed up till midnight yeah, to listen yeah. to it. What is the message on the album, would you say? I'll say the message on the album is like growth, like me just coming from somewhere, changing my, somewhere negative, changing my life. Now I just want to focus. Um, it's about like, like the cover, the cover explains like, basically, obviously when I was um, younger, like probably like nine years ago, there was a rumor that I got chased by Peckham boys and I I ran into the toilet. <laughs> I ran into the toilet and then the Peckham boys saw um a cat run out, right? <laughs> a cat on top of my clan, just my clothes was on the floor. Yeah, but basically when I was younger, I didn't used to like I didn't used to like it, so I used to always get angry. But now it's been ten years. Obviously things have changed. Life's life's good and that. I just laugh at that now. I just I just I just see it as a joke and I just thought, yeah, and people still talk about it till this day. If you if you check on Twitter and just type in Sneakball Cat, you'll see from 2011, they've been talking about it every year. <laughs> so, so obviously, that, that, that but that story ain't true. So because people still talk about it, I just thought, yeah, let me use it and I can relate to it. I called it Nine Lives because there is things that's happened in my life where I could have lost my life and... God's blessed me on like more than nine occasions. So, mm. you know, like I just relate to it that way. Yeah, no, when I saw the title, when I saw the album cover, I was like, this is actually funny. But when you get into the album and you hear what you're talking about, it makes so much sense as well, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, no, trust me, trust me, trust me. It makes so much sense. How do you decide who you want to work with? Uh, it just happened naturally, man. Like, like basically, Sticks, we grew up in Brixton together. Mm -hmm. um, Brenna, I just know, I've known her for a while and then we was just randomly in the studio that day. And yeah, we, no, she had a session with Lekka. Yeah. And I had a session after. So we ended up bumping up in the studio and we just ended up making a song together. And yeah, man, Dappy, that's been my brethren from a long time. We've made like three, song, three songs that ain't even come out yet. And this was oh, the first real? one. Yeah, yeah. This was the first one. 
my logo. I've done loads of Afro beats with him. So yeah, man, most of them are people that I've just been working with or I know already. Man. One of my favorites since school days. That's the one I had to slap on the radio straight away, man. Yeah, yeah. Hard as obviously go back. You got yeah, Tiny yeah. Boost on there as well. Yeah, Talk yeah. to me about this song. Yeah, no, obviously since school days, I thought, yeah, let me get Hard as Tiny Boost car. Basically, from like young, like when we were in school, that that's when I know Tiny Boost from. Um, mm. Even though we weren't like cool, we weren't brethren. But now it's good to show growth and like, Rob, we could jump on. Back then we couldn't jump on a track together. We couldn't even be seen together. Now we're shutting down shows, going on gigs, this tour together, chilling, waking up together. Not like waking up together, but you know, like we're, we're yeah, on the like you're in each other's lives, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like that we're rolling in it. So it's good to mm. show growth and it's showing the use that raw. Yeah, man, things can change in it. Like, like not, not everything's as deep as man think it is like. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, man. Now it's definitely nice to see the song's good as well. What's what's your favorites on the album? I feel like my favorite, my favorite song. I it's it's all different because like my favorite song is my intro because I'm talking the highs and lows. Mm, highs I'm, and lows. I'm talking like real stuff. I'm talking about my recent journey, and it got my son's voice on it. But then like the stick song, I know. That's what I need to play when I go festivals or clubs or mm. shut down the place. Like, so yeah, it's all different, man. I hear you, man. We're gonna talk more about the album in a little bit, but I wanted to ask you about the UK music scene on a wider one. Obviously, you've been here through a lot of the ebbs and flows, like where the sound's gone, where the sound is now. What's been your favorite era of UK music in the past ten years? Would you say? What's my favorite era? Probably. I'll say like when it was like me, Cash, John Wayne, mm. Political Peak, Squeaks, and that Joe Black, like that era was lit. I think that was yeah. like, what, when was that? Like probably 09, 010, 011 ish, or 12 ish. Is that before Timbo? Timbo. That might actually, be like. Actually, all that it, it's too much. There's too much different yeah. like, highlights. <laughs> like, yeah, that 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 era that I just said there, that was the start. Like that was yeah. when it was starting. But then there was the Afro beats when that was coming, Timbo era, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there's too much highlights. Like, been, that's what I'm saying. I've been around for a bit. So there's This too is why this is why I wanted to ask you this question, because you've actually been through it all and been popping through it all as well. So it'd be yeah, good yeah. to get your perspective, man. Yeah. You yeah, literally but... put put the Afro beats rap flows on the Bashman instrumentals and look what yeah. we have now everyone says Afro Bashman Afro Swing and all of yeah, that yeah 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 yeah. And do that you see happened. yourself as a pioneer at all um yeah I definitely see myself as starting it because that just happened naturally just because I grew up in Brixton and I'm around loads of like Jamaicans and Africans so that's what I naturally just listen to and yeah mm. man I, I just I just started jumping on it from I, I like the beats back then was like war beats and everyone was talking crud trapping yeah and it was just greasy in it and then i yeah, just yeah i just i just mixed up the gal and kind of the streets and everything together and yeah it, since then this is what i feel like the everyone's doing now yeah pretty much pretty yeah, much yeah, yeah 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 who are you feeling out of the new artists that are coming through uh i feel like Sticks, M24, J Huss. Obviously, I don't know if to, I could call J Huss a new artist, but yeah, yeah, Defo J Huss. Um, there's lo there's loads of men out there. They, yeah, they, 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 too much man getting hard right now, man. For real, you spoke about highs and lows. That's another track that I've got down that we had to talk about, man. Tell me about becoming a dad for the first time. How it changes you, how it changes how you want to live your life. I always ask people this question because whenever people become parents, especially guys, they there's always a change. There's always a change. Like I spoke to JK about it last year as well. What's it been like for you? No, it's been good, man. It's been it's made me like think twice about certain things I would have done. Now I'm more chilled at home. Um I just, 
I just take it day by day and I just realise like mm. I'm just getting more serious with life, you know, like that. Like even though I was serious with life already, but now it's like, yeah, like I gotta I gotta um think about someone else. I gotta think about their future. I gotta make sure they go down the right path, all the mistakes I made and all the things that I know that's bad. I gotta make sure like, yeah, my son's not going down that road. Facts, man, I hear that man. And what are you saying for the rest of the year then? Obviously, lockdown, we don't know when it's going to be coming out, but if we were to come out of lockdown soon, how do you want to attack the rest of 2020, man? Um, If we were to come out of lockdown, hopefully I could just put on a tour, put on my tour ASAP. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to fly Miami, I'm trying to fly LA, I'm trying to turn up, <laughs> I'm trying to get lit, man. I swear down, the first party I go to, I'm getting wasted, man. Like, on the lit. first one, the first rave we all reach, yeah? Goodness, they might as well just put the Ubers outside, ready <laughs> nah, for It's going to be mad. It's, it's going to be mad. I might even go to the pub, I might go anywhere, I don't care where I'm going. <laughs> I'm going anywhere, is it? <laughs> First of all, I might even go to the pub. That's when you know it's serious, man. <laughs> I need to turn up. I need to have some music and vibes. No, nah, facts, man. Facts. Before I let you go, one well, last question I did want to ask you. Did you ever imagine the success to be like this? Like, when you see the early videos, for me, I always find it quite interesting. Like, there's a passion that's there from early to even get up, put music on YouTube, when you're like in the life that you're in anyway, did you ever see it turning out to be this way? Or when did you know that it was gonna switch? Like, what's that whole journey of success for you? Um, yeah, like when I first started, I definitely didn't ever think it would be like this. And then, yeah, I take it day by day and like, cool, I, like I, sometimes I feel like, oh, rah, I've had my time and oh, I might drop this, two three songs and it's not it's not banged and then a boom on the fourth song raw everyone's going mad again so like the journey is just different you just you just never know and then obviously like now i'm gassed 2020 and rob bruce wants to interview me like you know like that like my my thing could have been dead if bear man can't get an interview bear man want this opportunity you know like that even though it might, people might not think it's a big opportunity, but yeah, these little things are big opportunities, trust me. And man still appreciates them in 2020, like. So I yeah, you, I'm, man, forever I'm, grateful, I'm, bro. No, trust, trust, trust. I'm just gassed about the journey. I'll just take it as it comes, bro. Bro, likewise, like even for me, say like when you, say when you're younger and you want to get into this career sort of thing, I'm looking at the likes of yourselves like, oh, I wish I could be, interview and sneak mode, you know what I mean? Yeah, and for yeah. newer artists, it's different because they come up whilst I've already been here, yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. thing. But it's the likes of you guys that inspire me to want to even do this career. So I'm even yeah, 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 gassed yeah. that we can have this conversation. 100, 100, 100, trust, you know, trust. It goes both ways. Say, say no more, say no more. Thank you very much for jumping on the call. We appreciate it big time. No, I love bro, definitely. Thanks for having me, man.